Well, hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us on Logistics Executive TV. We've got a special today in conjunction with uh, Oasis Africa Australia. All right. So, Jacinta, congratulations once again for your huge, huge achievements. And we are very proud of all the, all the achievements that you've done so far with Oasis Africa. Can you tell us your journey? Uh, through Oasis Africa, how you how you joined them and what Oasis Africa has done to this day. Yeah. Uh, so thank you for this uh, opportunity. So my journey in Oasis Africa uh, started in 2013. That was when I was doing my primary education examination. Uh, I did the examination and uh, I was selected for the scholarship. And I joined a very good school in Kenya. Nobody knew that uh, uh, coming from a poor background, I would be able to attend such a prestigious school. And at that time, having been having five siblings who are sc schooling because I'm the second one in my family. Uh, yeah. So I joined uh, Oasis Africa, uh, became active on the mentorship uh, programs that were held each and every holidays. And uh, at the end of the day, I became a leader in my school. I was the school president by the time I was leaving high school. And that also impacted me with leadership skills and uh, uh, enhanced my communication skills. Yeah. Wow, that's just amazing, amazing. That's, uh, so can you tell us your journey to Sydney? How is it? Did you get culture shock? <laughs> tell us everything from Kenya to your airplane to Sydney and tell us how it is now. Yeah, so uh, the moment I found out that uh, uh, I had the opportunity to come to Sydney and thus to come to uh, one of the most prestigious, prestigious schools in Sydney, that is the University of Sydney, I was very excited. I felt like my dream was finally coming true. I was hoping and uh, believing that one day <laughs> I will leave my country and study abroad. That is something that uh, a person uh, of my class will not think of because uh, there were no means. <laughs> but through Oasis Africa, they made my dream to come true and I really appreciate them for doing that for me. So I took my plane uh, on the 10th of uh, July coming to Australia. I still do feel like I'm dreaming. I'm still in my dreamland. Sometimes I pinch myself to <laughs> confirm that it's not it's not a dream and it's uh, something that is actually happening. And uh, every day I, I see new things. I, I feel like I, I, I'm, I've just been born. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's my first time on earth because everything is different here, different in a good way. And uh, it's I, I do find that uh, I, I do feel like after I finish my master's degree, I'll be able to come back home and change my community and yeah, change my community and uh, inspire more people to uh, to dream big. Yeah.